Good morning and welcome to day 17 of my training with guide dog Abby. Hey up Abby. <laughs> you got a toy? What toy is that? No, oh, we're not playing tug of war. Yeah, that'll break. That'll break very easily. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. So yep, yeah, day 17. Um, obviously continuing my training at home. Uh, last. Uh, the last video, as you've seen, uh, the guy, the guide trainers actually uh, wasn't able to make it out because he had a bit of car trouble. So we ended up doing a uh, doing one of the walks on our own, which went really well. Um, but today, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. Um, I, I, I feel like we'll probably be going over some of our regular routes because we're coming towards the end of our training, and very soon we will be having our assessment. So I'd imagine we'll probably just be make fine tuning those walks. If anything need slightly just in we'll work on that uh, but I mean everything's gone well so far so. <laughs> come on then Abby let's go to the cop shop let's go to the cop shop steady you think you're going to the park don't you not, not yet straight we're going to the park now. Going to the cop shop. Steady. Steady. Over you go. To the curb. Over you go. Over to the curb. Come on. Over to the curb. Come on. To the curb. No, to the... Wait. That way though. Forward, come on. Straight. Straight on. Straight on. Straight. Go then, onto the curb. And find left. Find left, come on. Go on, left. Ah, oh, I'm not having a good day. Can we retire? Over. Can I retire? To the curb. So basically what happened there was she got a bit distracted by the dogs yeah. and she got herself sorted out but then you tried to get... Still tired, she, go left. Yeah, so because she was quite close to the curb edge there so um, she'll be on oh. to get past. Right, try again. things happen. <laughs> Forward. Good so girl. To the curb. curb. Good girl. Forward. Straight, come on. Good girl. Straight. Lean in there, find the way. Good girl. Steady, over to the curb. Up, up to the curb. Good girl, wait. Forward. Straight. Lean in. Find right, good girl. Find the door. Find the door then. Good girl. Well done, Abs. Yay! Come on then, out we go. Find right. See you later. Cheers. Sit. Good. Forward. Left. Good girl. Go on then, straight on. Straight. I feel like somebody doesn't want to go home. <laughs> Come on, up up. Abby, straight. Come on. Good girl. Let's go. Up up. Come on, up up. Let's go. Straight. Good girl. That's better. Much better. Go on to the door. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Oh. Bad day at the office for daddy that was. Hey. What a frustrating day. Uh, that's all I can really put it down to. Um, 
I think uh, as I was coming in the house, I said that I summed it up perfectly. Really, it was just a bad day at the office. Um, I don't know where to start. Really, I mean, first of all, uh, you um, unfortunately you didn't see the first uh, route that I went out and did. So we, we went out and did the block route um, first, but unfortunately the, the camera. Uh, some I don't know what happened with it, but it didn't record that um, that walk. Um, but that one didn't really. I think that one got off to a bad start, and that's why it set me up for the rest of the day. Really, um, we was walking in front of this the uh, the shop, which is just around the corner from mine, and um, it's got like um, a driveway that goes onto it, and I felt the. Um, pavement sort of drop and but at the same time Emma, uh, sorry Ab Abby went a little bit to the left and I thought she was trying to take it into the shop which we uh, which we we have done recently uh, so I told her to turn right a little bit um, however I just completely got my bearings wrong and uh, she did what I told her to and she, she, she turned right but it was a real funny point of the uh of the pavement so what it actually meant is that we ended up slightly walking onto the road now normally um obviously she would stop at a curb but because this pavement's a bit old and worn it didn't look like it was a drop curb so it was very hard for her to differentiate between the pavement and the and the road and obviously normally she'd just go straight on which is fine uh but because i told her to turn right she, she you know she did right uh and and listened to to my command but unfortunately my command was the wrong command um, so we got off to a bad start there, really. Um, the rest of the walk wasn't too bad. Uh, th that went okay. It was a little bit messy outside the chip shop. Um, I think from now on we're going to slightly change that. And rather than going to the chip shop doors, I think we're going to scrap that idea and just go past it. Because more, more often than not when I'm doing that route, I'm going to walk past. I don't... I don't go to the chip shop that often, so it seems a bit pointless to be going to the doors all the time when it's not really that necessary. I, you know, when I need to go it, I can find it then. So, um, I think we're going to do that from now on. Uh, and the rest of it went okay. Um, it just, I just felt a bit stressed today. I don't normally. Um, so we came back and had a drink, and then we went for the second walk, which you have seen, which was to the cob shop. So we're practicing our routes today because um, we will be having our assessment uh, either in the, I mean, maybe in the next video, I'm not sure. So um, the next one could be our assessment, you'll have to wait and see. But uh, so we're practicing some of our, you know, regular routes, the ones that we'll probably do to be assessed on just to, just to go over it, just so we feel confident and comfortable with it. Um, so we started going to the cob shop and then um, as you saw on the video, <laughs> we uh, then had a bit of a problem when we were crossing over just in front of the entrance to the park. Now, this is always quite difficult uh, for myself and, and Abby. Uh, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I can't quite remember. So, um, obviously, dogs are dogs, and when they go for a run on a park, they're going to then associate that park with fun stuff, you know, going for runs and things like that. So... Uh, there's obviously normally other dogs on there and things, so whenever we approach that, that park, inevitably she's going to get excited. Uh, any dog would, really. Um, with Hudson, I used to cross over the road, so I'm away from the entrance, because he was just, he, he, could, he was sort of um, too difficult to control, he just got way too excited. So I had to do that with him, but I'm trying with Abby to, to not have to do that. I'm trying to see if we can get past that park without having to cross over unnecessarily really um, so today we got to the curb uh, and went to cross over a bit, a, like a little pull into the park which is on the park side um, and again this was my fault not Abby's um, <laughs> I, I told her to go forward and um, she was trying to take me to the right because we hadn't lined up right in the first place so she was trying to get me to the curb, but I was turning left because I thought she was trying to take me into the park. So I was sort of overriding her, which I thought I had to do, uh, but it turns out that I didn't. I should have just trusted her um, and, and, and 
gone with where she was telling me really. So I told her to do that, and then when we got onto the curb, I was then still telling her left, but obviously we'd only just got on the curb, so she was already very close to the to the curb on her side. So I was telling her left, and there wasn't really room for her to go any more left. So it was just a bit messy, and um, I had a good chat with the trainers afterwards, and cause I, that really bothered me. Um, and I felt really sort of annoyed at myself for, and, and like I said, I'm very frustrated for that happening. Uh, but they did reassure me, you know, it's um, it, it, it wasn't actually as bad as what it what it felt like at the time. You know, we was never in any danger or anything like that. So um, obviously that's uh, the most important thing. But there was only just tiny little things that, you know, probably very rarely ever going to happen again or you know they're very easy to to solve so i probably have been beating myself up a little bit too much about it but i just don't like making silly mistakes and that's what what frustrated me about it really but move on you know it's not not the end of the world i had, I had plenty of days like that with hudson but we had more days of good well a lot more days of good uh, good days out than than bad really so i'm literally putting this down to just a bad day at the office so yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna forget this one in a hurry, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we should be having our assessment very soon. It could be the next video, or it could be in a few more. I don't know uh, just yet. We're still trying to sort out. We need to get somebody from the Nottingham team, which is uh, the obviously the area that I come under, to come out and do the assessment. So um, it, check, it depends on their calendar. But we are ready, so hopefully anytime soon uh, we will be going out and doing our assessment. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And, um, you know, fingers crossed, Abby and I will be a qualified partnership very soon. Thank you for watching. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series so far. Uh, if you've got any comments, please drop them below. Any questions, please drop them in. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up. And obviously, if you haven't already, please give us a, a subscribe as well. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Ruby saying bye. Good girl, Abby. You got all your toys out again.